Most of you know the story. We're on our 40th year from when Bob Jones told us that we're going to be on the Truman property with 24-hour worship in the spirit of the Tabernacle of David with singers and musicians praying for Israel with people all over Asia watching us on Unplugged TV sets. Well, we're on the 40th year of waiting for that. Today is our very first prayer meeting. This will go on 24 hours for three or four days. We have singers and musicians in the spirit of the Tabernacle of David. And all over Asia, they're watching us right now. Now, this is just a down payment because one day, by the grace of God, we expect our missions-based facilities to be here. It'll be 24-7 till the Lord returns by the grace of God. But this is a key moment right now with May 14th coming up in the sand, the 40-year markers, the 50-year markers. Most of you know the story. I'm going to say thank you to the SEND for saying yes to this very difficult thing of this event this whole week. David Bradshaw awakened the dawn that insisted on putting tents on the Truman property. He insisted on it, and it wasn't easy. Because among many of us went, whatever. No, we have to put tents on the Truman property. Not just meet at Arrowhead. And then Dean Bai, come on up here. Dean and I have been connected just the last nine months in a really powerful way. But he insisted on an Israel tent. And I said, Dean, we've got a bunch of prayer tents. We'll pray for Israel, you know, a couple times in every tent throughout the day. He goes, no, 24 hours a day with singers and musicians, all for Israel, witnessed in Asia. Thank you, Dean, for insisting on that. So just... The Lord has chosen Israel, amen? But he's also chosen those from the nations. He's also those has chosen Gentiles. And he's given us a part in this amazing Bible story. Can somebody say, praise the Lord! And part of this amazing Bible story that we find ourselves in, he chose the people that call upon the name of the Lord. Are you here? That day and night take no rest, give him no rest until he establishes Jerusalem as a praise in all the earth. And he says, do it day and night. I am humbled to be before you and those of you out in the nations to be here on Truman land for this amazing moment we stand. Take your feet. I mean, this is, for, this is one of those places that I would have to just take my shoes off to be on this land right now. Because there has been a people that have been contending for 40 years, day and night. And for 23 of those years, 24-7, that God's prophetic words spoken by a humble servant, Bob Jones, would come to pass. And, and here we are. Mr. Mike, 40 years later, and, and I get to be here with you on this, with Lou, with all of you all, because you have believed and you have been faithful. And I want to just say all of our faith and those who haven't been a part of this Bible story yet should arise right now and through this week, for the greater glory that's before us. Oh, can somebody say, praise the Lord. <laughs> can you say Baruch Hashem? Blessed be his name. Thank you, Mike. Thank you, IHOP Kansas City. 
and all you musicians. Thank you, thank you for all your intercession and for all you be doing day and night because the time has come for the baby to be born. And God needs to raise up a whole other community to be a part of this baby being raised up on the earth. 100 million intercessors for Israel. I'm going to pray, and then we're going to enter into worship for a few moments and then do our normal IHOP prayer cycles. And we're praying for Israel, for what God's doing in Isaiah 19 in the Middle East, this one new man emerging that's going to reflect the glory of God to the ends of the earth. But as we do this, as I pray, my gratitude obviously is towards the Lord. But I think of those who are building prayer ministries around the nations who labored here 10 or 20 years or more. And they're not with us physically, but they're with us in spirit in the web stream. I think of Alan, I think of Wes Hall, Wes Martin, Brian, Corey, Julie Meyer, Rick Rupp over in the islands. These guys, many, many, many. I could give the list of 20, 30, 40. They're building prayer ministries around the earth. Murray and Deborah, and they want to be here, but they're out there in the Father's work, but they shed tears and blood and effort and so many others that have been a part of this, the 20,000 that have been full-time over the 23 years. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for these moms and dads that labored for years, but they're out there right now. Thank you, Father, that you kept us going. Thank you for the 20,000. Thank you for the Robert Stearns that have led prayer meetings all over the earth. Got Rick Ridings in Jerusalem, Tom Hess, all these ministries that have been contending for Israel, Asher, David Damien, all of these on and on. Together with one heart, we stand before you and we say thank you, thank you, thank you, Father. Thank you in Jesus' name.
how I love you so sings so sings so
who we came before. This is what you made us for. This is what you made us for, to partner with you, to partner with you. This is what we came here for, and this is what you made us for, to partner with you, to partner with you. And this is what we came here for, this is what you made us for. Partner with you, to partner with you, and we'll cry with Yeshua, and we'll cry with Paul, and we'll cry until.
Let's lift our voice all over this place. Sing your prayer right before the Father. from Ephesians chapter 1 verse 17 Father of glory Abba Abba our Father who art in heaven Father of glory release over Israel the spirit of wisdom and revelation of the beauty and the glory of your son I ask for an unveiling of the beauty of the king. We just prophesy Isaiah 33, 17. Your eyes will see the beauty of the king. I ask that all over the nations, you would raise up intercessors. Father, I thank you for Shaddy and Ruth, Abadar, right now, for Tom Craig building singers, musicians, in the Isaiah 19 highway and so many others. We call forth singers and musicians. Johannes Hartel in Germany raising up singers and musicians. The spirit of glory 
Boaz Park in Korea 24-7. Billy Humphrey raising up singers, musicians. Murray, Deborah in the nations, singers and musicians revealing the beauty of Jesus to Israel and all over Europe. God, I ask you for an anointing for singers and musicians. Ovner and Rachel, God, increase the glory of God in them and through them as they raise up singers and musicians for Israel. And Abba, release the new songs of his beauty. Release the prophetic spirit on the singers and musicians all over the nations. God, we thank you for the intercession that's going on with Dean Bai and his entire team 24-7 on the internet. God, I ask you for greater grace. I ask you for a spirit of wisdom and revelation. I ask that you would stun Israel with the beauty of Yeshua and his glory and his tenderness. In the name of Jesus, I ask you, Father, release the spirit of wisdom and revelation. More, Lord, all through the land of Israel, through the Middle East. God, on the, those that are training the singers and musicians that I mentioned, release glory on them and through them. All throughout the earth, all through Asia, all through Europe, Brazil. Raise up singers and musicians through Brazil that will stand for Israel. Latin America, Mexico, Canada. We call forth a hundred million intercessors who sing the song, the new song of your heart, Abba. A new song. Release a new song in the earth. Let that song move through Israel in power. Father, we come before your throne. Father, we declare that you are the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Father, we declare that you are the Holy One of Israel. Father, you spoke through your servant Isaiah. Lord, that you would not keep silent. That you would not rest, Father, until Jerusalem is established as a praise in the earth until Jerusalem is a burning and a shining lamb. And then, Father, that you would set watchmen on the wall who would cry out day and night, night and day. Father, we ask you, Lord, this morning, Lord, that you would speak. Lord, you said you would not keep silent. Father, we ask you, God, that all across this nation, Father, we ask you, God, that all across the nations of the earth, Father, for the increase, Father, of your divine activity, Lord, that you would speak to intercessors. Father, we ask you for the spirit of revelation. Father, we ask you for dreams and visions and Holy Spirit encounters. 
Father, we ask you, God, even in the watches of the night, God, that you, by your spirit, would rest on your people, Father, all across the nations. Lord, that you would speak to them. Father, that you would stir them. Father, Lord, that you would release the spirit of grace and supplication, Father, the cry for Israel, the cry for your people, Father, deep on the inside. Father, we speak, Father, to these intercessors. It is not by might, it's not by power, but it's by the Spirit, says the Lord. Lord, we ask you, God, for the release of your spirit. Father, we ask you for the release of the shouts of grace, 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 grace. Grace, grace, Father, all across the continents, Father, we ask you for grace, grace on the intercessors, grace, grace on the worship leaders, grace, grace on the prophetic singers and the musicians. Father, we ask you that by your spirit, Father, that as you speak, Lord, we ask you that you would release the song of the Lord. Lord, we ask you to release the word of the Lord. Father, we ask you that you release the burden of the Lord. And Father, you said that you would act. Lord, you said that you would move on their behalf. Lord, we ask you for the increase of that divine setting. Father, we ask you, God, even from this day moving forward, Lord, we ask you, God, that you would rearrange, Father, circumstances. Lord, that you'd release finances. Father, I ask you, God, that you would hear relationships. Father, I ask you, God, even for those who are called to be on the wall, God, I ask you for the release of your divine healing and your power. Lord, you, Lord we ask you, God, for this hundred million strong intercessors emotionally, spiritually, Physically, Father, we ask you, God, that you would visit them. Father, we ask you, you would set them on the wall. In the name of Jesus, we ask you, God, move in power and set forth the intercessor. Grace, grace on the intercessors, Father. Set them in with might. Heal bodies, heal their souls, strengthen their spirits. Grace, grace. of prayer in Jerusalem. Grace, grace. 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 We speak grace. in the name of Jesus. Power and light. Release grace, we ask. We speak grace from this place. We prophesy. It is not by might, and it's not by power. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. Oh, you said it's not by might, and it's not by power. It's by my spirit, says the Lord. Oh, you said it's not by might, and it's not by. Release grace. All across the nations of the earth. Across Europe. Throughout Africa. South America.
continue to pray Ephesians 1, 17. The spirit of wisdom and revelation for the church, for the raising up of a hundred million intercessors for Israel. God, we stand before you this morning from this place that you sovereignly appointed, you sovereignly set all of this into motion. Set this place and set us into this place. God, we cry out. We do what you set us here to do in this place. And we ask that you would release light and power on the understanding, on the hearts of believers across the nations of the earth, throughout Asia. God, we're asking in China, Southeast Asia, we're asking across the islands and the coastlands that you would bring a shift like we've never seen before. God, that suddenly the light and the power of your Holy Spirit would shine forth on your people and suddenly your heart, your passion, your zeal for Zion, your zeal for your people. God, that you would set it within your church, that you would set it within your people, that you would raise up across the nations a hundred million that are willing to take their stand by the grace of God, that are willing to take their stand regardless of the cost and the resistance and the attack of the evil one. God, we're asking that you would set something within your church, a love for Israel that is like yours, an understanding of your heart, alignment with you that is of you, is from you, that you would set a seal of fire upon your people, that there would be a burning heart of love for Israel that is not anything that can be stirred within the natural. But God, we're asking for something that only you can produce. We're asking for a sign and a wonder that's far beyond, that you would shock the nations, that you would shock the leaders of the earth, that you would have a people that burn like you do for the salvation of Israel, that you would have a church that's alive on the inside with sacrificial love, for the Jews, for the Jewish people, God, we're asking that you would do it, that you would shock the earth, that a hundred million across the nations of the earth would take their stand, that they would give their lives, that they would give their time, their energy, their money to cry out, to pray. God, we're asking for that spirit of revelation, that light that only you can release, that light on understanding that only you can do. God, as we stand here today, we declare, we believe you. We believe your promise. We believe that you can do it. You said it, Lord. 40 years ago, you said it, and here we are. We declare from this place, we are a people that believe you. We believe your promise. We believe that you're returning. We believe that you're gonna change the understanding and expression of Christianity. We believe it, God, and we're asking that you would raise up a hundred million that believe you too. We're asking that there would be an unshakable faith in your promise, an unshakable longing for that which you spoke, an unshakable dedication that only you can produce. We're asking in the name of Jesus, raise up a hundred million intercessors across the nations of the earth. people that burn like you do, that love like you love. Do a sign, do a wonder all across the earth. Oh God, that we would take it personally like you do. That we would feel what you feel. Say what you say, that we would pray in agreement with you. Raise up unshakably loyal intercessors, fierce and determined by faith. A 
a people that believe you. Seal for your house, consuming your intercessors, alive with your heart. Do it, Lord, we ask. Thank you that in these days you are removing the veil that covers all nations. Lord, today on Mount Zion, prepare a feast from the greater Melchizedek. Offer your body and your blood to Abraham once again. Remove the veil that covers. Rip the veil as a hundred million intercessors begin to apply the blood of the Lamb and sprinkle Israel that kings will see. the body and blood of the suffering servant. Lord, this day on Truman property, as intercessors, we declare a removal of the veil even now. Even now, remove the veil that covers the eyes of your people in the name of Yeshua. Father, we pray today that you would raise up an explosion of the sound of the Gentile church. Ruth, release a sound. Your people will be my people. Break anti-Semitism. Lord, break replacement theology. Lord, begin to loose a cry in the Gentile churches, even all over Europe. The veil will be ripped from the eyes of the church when they read the scriptures. They will understand it's time. The set time of your favor has come. Lord, release a hundred million intercessors out of the Ruth call. Your people will be my people and your God will be my God.
what pain to never give up. Pray for the salvation of Israel. And when they are surrounded, we will stand. We will stand.
Father, we take our stand as intercessors here on Harry Truman's land who stood as a political intercessor for the nation of Israel. Well, Lord, we stand as spiritual intercessors from this very land in accordance with your purposes and your promises. Lord, Acts 2, 17, that you would pour out your spirit upon Jerusalem, that you would pour out your spirit upon the nation of Israel and the Jewish people, even those in New York City. We ask for the outpouring of the Holy Spirit and power upon your servants and witnesses that would go forth with the testimony of Christ, that would flash forth the power and the anointing of God through preaching and ministry and healing and signs and wonders. We ask that what you did in Jerusalem 2,000 years ago, that you would do it again, God, that you would release a mighty anointing and outpouring upon your servants, that at the preaching of the name of Yeshua, that hearts would be torn in two, and that the veil of unbelief would be torn back, and that you, my God, would shine forth the light of the countenance of the glory of Yeshua among the Jewish people in a fresh way, we ask you in Jesus' name. Father, you had a dream in your heart, and I pray according to Isaiah 62, and I ask for Latin America. I ask that you will raise up the intercessors that will cry out from Brazil, Argentina, Chile, Mexico, Paraguay, Venezuela. Lord, we ask that millions will see what you see for the Jewish people. I ask that you will raise up the teachers that will bring the road to Emmaus this year to many. Pastors that will speak and proclaim the mystery of Israel. Oh, Father, will you raise up millions of intercessors? This is the dream of your heart. I ask that you will set watchmen on the walls for Jerusalem until the seventh trumpet. You will have friends that cry out for the salvation of the Jewish people in Latin America, in Jesus' name. Pai, eu me posiciono aqui nesta propriedade, nesta manhã. Assim como Oswaldo Aranha, pai, um brasileiro, liderou a sessão da ONU que disse sim ao Estado de Israel, eu levanto um clamor que o Senhor levante milhões de brasileiros que sejam intercessores por essa nação, milhões de pessoas de fala portuguesa e por toda a América Latina. Father, we stand and we ask for millions of Portuguese speaking people all around the world, from Brazil, Portugal and Africa, and Spanish speaking, that will be raised and they will be positioned themselves as intercessors for Israel, for the salvation of Israel, all over Latin America, all over the world, in Jesus' name. Father of glory, God of our Lord Jesus Christ, we stand here together today, lifting up Jerusalem, lifting up Israel, your people, O oh God, and we say, Father, we agree with your heart and your desire to lift up the beauty of the man Christ Jesus. We say, we agree that he is chief among 10,000. He is fairer than the sons of men. He is altogether lovely and we're asking, oh God, for that spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of him to break forth like waves over the hearts all across the land, God over the believing remnant that you have set in place. We're asking for that strengthening, that strengthening, the beauty of the Lord that strengthens. We're asking, oh God, for salvation to spring forth as you, oh God, who commanded light to shine forth out of darkness, breaks through in the heart with the knowledge and the radiance of the glory of the man, Christ Jesus all across the land, God, all across Jerusalem. We're asking for that light of the beauty of Jesus, the spirit of wisdom and revelation to break forth in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, we ask that you would do what you did in Jerusalem in days of old, that you would pour out your spirit like you did in Acts 2. Lord, we ask that you would do 
what she did in the hearts of the hearers after Peter made sense of the outpouring of the Spirit that Jesus poured out and that she would cut many, specifically young people, all throughout the land of Israel to the heart by the revelation of the beauty of Jesus as the prophesied Christ from Psalm 16 and as the Lord of all creation, Yahweh of Psalm 110. Lord, we ask that you would do a work by the outpouring of the Spirit to such a degree that would cut to the heart of many concerning that they would know assuredly that they crucified Yahweh in the flesh, the promised seed of David, and that their hearts would be torn asunder concerning the gravity of the one that drew near. And Lord, I ask that you would do this so that their love would abound still more and more as you prophesied. Jesus in Matthew 22, cause their love to abound still more and more in the name of Jesus. Father, we stand here on Harry Truman's property. And we pray, Isaiah 6, 62, verse 6, Lord, that even now, as you raised up Harry Truman as a political intercessor for Israel, we stand now and we ask you for 100 million spiritual intercessors for Israel. Lord, you said, you set watchmen on the walls of Jerusalem. You who remember Jerusalem, give yourself no rest day or night. And so we ask you today, all over the world, all over Europe, all over Asia, Lord, all across China, all across South America, Brazil, God, all across the United States, even as people are watching all over the world, let the zeal of the Lord accomplish this. Father, we ask you from Harry Truman's property that you would raise up, even in this generation, 100 million intercessors for Israel by the zeal of the Lord. Father, we're asking you now, all across the earth, that the zeal of the Lord would be released for Zion, that you would touch the Gentile church, and you would put a sound in their mouth, and you would put a cry for Israel, and then you would put the zeal of the Lord upon the praying church all across the earth, in Jesus' name.
Do they see a beautiful face? And behold, their God. See his hands. Put your finger in the nail prints. Reach out. And put your hand in his side. Look into his beauty. Behold your God. See his hands. Put your finger in the nail prints and reach out. Put your hand in his side. Look into his beautiful face. into his beautiful face Behold your God See his hands Put your finger in the nail prints and reach out with your hand in his side Look into
Death could not hold you. The veil tore before you. One more time, let's sing his name. Yes. We love your name, yes. Most precious Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we come seeking you and your glory. We come to acknowledge, we come to declare that you are the Lord. You are the Lord our God. You are the one that created the heaven, the earth, the stars, and the moon. You did all things in six days. 
Father, we are praying according to Ephesians 3 and 10 that you will reveal your mystery. God, that you will cause your Jewish brothers, our brothers and sisters, your Christian sons and daughters to come together in one. So what we are crying out to you, reveal your heart. May your heart be revealed, God, that you will remove the hearts of stone. Give us brand new hearts of flesh that we may walk in unity, in oneness with the cry for your kingdom to come, your will to be done. Father, we say, raise up, raise up your 100 million intercessors that will operate as your army to bring together, to bring into fruition everything that is in the desires of your heart. So we come because we seek your heart and may your heart be fulfilled in the mighty, glorious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, we thank you for what you're doing, Lord. We thank you for your nearness. We thank you that you have invited us in. So Jesus, I pray that you would raise up a Joel's army from the Gen Z, Lord, those who are willing to stand with Israel, that will partner with your promises, Lord, that will be fiery for you, Lord, that would preach the gospel. Jesus, you would raise up intercessors for Israel here in America and throughout, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would come and that you would reveal yourself to the Gen Z in Israel, Lord, that you would remove the veil, that spirit of wisdom and revelation would come to them. Lord, give them hope. Lord, turn their gaze to you. So in the name of Jesus, reveal the spirit of wisdom and revelation and raise up an intercessor, intercessors who love you from the Gen Z generation, Lord Jesus. Come and move. Father, lift up you, to you today from this soil, Lord, 2.5 million children, Lord, in Israel. Father, we ask 33% of the population, Lord, would tonight, this very minute, from this soil have dreams and visions. Right now, we ask that 2.5 million children across Israel, Lord Jesus, would have signs and wonders, encounters in the night, God. We ask that you would reveal the power and ministry of the Holy Spirit to the children, Lord. God, we ask that you reveal your beauty to Israel and let everybody to know who you really are and you to just to show everybody, everybody just to love you and have your grace to be on all these people and all the world and we ask that them just to love you more, Lord, and find out who you really are. Amen. Father, I ask that you would set watchmen on your wall from the black community, God. That you would reach into the African diaspora across the nations of the earth. And you would cause them to stand and pray for Israel, God. I'm asking for burning and shining lamps. Ones who will give you no rest. Day and night, night and day. Reach into the black community and set your watchmen on the wall. Father, today, it's with boldness we come into your presence. And today we're asking that you would lift the slumber and the stupor off of Israel today. I pray that eyes would be open, Lord, in Jerusalem today. I asking you that you would open up ears today, that the centra central issue of your son, the Messiah, they would see him, Lord. I'm asking, Lord, in Tel Aviv, in secular Israel today, open up the eyes of those living in, these, in that nation, that the Son of the living God, the Messiah, their eyes would see him and they would call upon him. Their ears would hear and they would bow in adoration and love. Open up their understanding that the Son of the living God would be exalted in Jerusalem this hour. In the Orthodox community, let the revelation of Jesus come alive. And we speak to them to wake up this hour. Let them come to the knowledge of your son. I'm asking you for revelation of your son to touch the very inner workings of those in Israel today, that they would see and call on his name, that they would hear and call on his name. 
We ask you from this property, let the name of Jesus be known in Israel today. faith stand before your throne of grace we come with full assurance of faith believing that your word is truth according to Isaiah 62 1 6 and 7 father we thank you for revealing your heart for Israel we thank you for making known your passion for your firstborn Israel and we thank you for the zeal in your heart. We are asking in agreement with your word 
that you will mobilize, activate intercessors and set them on the wall from across the nations of the world, in the United States of America, in every nation, in every tribe, in every people group, in every language. Father, we are asking in the name of Jesus that a swell of intercession will rise from the nations. A cry will be heard night and day, day and night. Your people crying out, save a remnant of your people, Israel. In the name of Jesus, Father, we ask you, the zeal in your heart, the burden in your heart, would you put it in our heart as your sons and your daughters, everyone that names the name of Jesus. We ask in the name of Jesus, mobilize, activate intercessors from around the nations until Jerusalem is a praise, until all Israel is saved according to your word in the name of Jesus. For Zion's sake, give yourself no rest and give him no rest until Jerusalem is praised on the earth. Father, we ask for the raising up of Asian intercessors. We ask for the raising up of Korean-speaking intercessors who would cry out to you day and night for the salvation of Israel. God, I'm asking among Korea, China, Japan, Indonesia, Singapore, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Lord, would you have a wave of intercession movement who would cry out to you for the salvation of Israel. Father, we ask for the raising up of Korean intercessors. 하나님 아버지, 이 시간 기도 아웃기는 주님께서 한국인 중보 기도자들을 세워주실 것을 이 시간 간구합니다. 이스라엘의 회복과 이스라엘의 구원을 놓고 기도할 한국인 중보 기도자들 천만 명을 세워주시옵소서 1억 명의 중보 기도자를 세우실 때 천만 명의 한국인 기도 중보 기도자들을 세워 주실 것을 이 시간 간구드립니다. Father, we ask that you will have your inheritance of Korean speaking intercessors who would cry out to you day and night for the restoration and full salvation of Israel in the name of Jesus. Abba, we love you. And we're so thankful to see what you have done. We say the Lord, you have done great things and we are filled with joy. And we stand before you and say that Jesus is the King of the Jews, King of all of the earth. We stand today and say you are a faithful father to your firstborn son and all that you have spoken, it shall come to pass that all those who have been scattered will be regathered in Israel, that the land will belong to the Jewish people, Father, that those that you've called from the nations to shout and give praise, that we will stand as watchmen on the walls for Zion's sake. Father, we will stand as faithful witnesses of your plan of redemption, that even we know that Jesus came and shed his blood as the Lamb of God, we will declare that he's coming again as the Lion of Judah to complete the plan of redemption. Father, we thank you that we know the testimony of Jesus and we stand today and say we will be faithful witnesses declaring to the remnant of Israel that you are faithful and that all that you have spoken it shall come to pass we love you Father we come before you with a prayer that your servant Paul prayed it is our heart's desire that Israel would be saved Father, we come before you and we lift before you the Jews living in our city, in our state, in our nation. And we ask, Father, break through with the revelation of your Son. Reveal the man Christ Jesus, their righteousness. Reveal him to them. Father, we ask that eyes would be open to see, unveiled to see, ears open to hear, hearts softened to comprehend and perceive that Jesus is Messiah. Mouths would call out and cry out for the salvation of the Son in Jesus' name. 
Father, we come before you and we pray that you will raise up intercessors in the French-speaking world. Half a billion French-speaking people. Father, we pray for intercessors for Israel in the French-speaking world. In the name of Yeshua, Père, nous te demandons d'envoyer ton Esprit Saint pour lever des intercesseurs dans la francophonie, qu'ils puissent prier pour Israël et que ton Fils puisse avoir son héritage en, dans le nom de Jésus. Yeah, Father, I pray for the new song, Psalm 33, verse 3, to, for the salvation of Israel. Lord, I'm asking for the Psalm 96, Psalm 98, the new songs of Isaiah 24, glory to the righteous one. Isaiah 42, Lord, I pray that it would be established that your election of Israel, Lord, would be heard throughout the nations as a testimony of your faithfulness, Lord. What a beautiful story, Lord. I'm asking specifically for Latin America. El mundo, Señor, de habla hispana, te, te pido, Señor, que por tu misericordia abres nuestros ojos para ver la hermosura de tu elección, Señor, la forma que tú has dirigido nuestra historia, Señor. Te pido, abre nuestros corazones y derrama de tu espíritu una nueva canción se eleve de Latinoamérica en el nombre de Jesús. Father, you said that in the last days you're going to pour out your spirit on all flesh and our sons and daughters will prophesy. We ask you this morning, God, that you would open up the heavens over Israel, that you would release the spirit of wisdom and revelation and the knowledge of your beautiful son, Jesus, and that the youth of Israel, their eyes would see, their ears would hear, and their hearts would respond with a wholehearted yes to you. Raise them up, God, and set them on the wall. In Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Yeshua sent the 70 out, and when they returned, the Spirit of the Lord fell on them. And I'm just praying into this because Yeshua says to them, Blessed are the eyes that see what you see. For I tell you that many prophets and kings desired to see what you see and did not see it, and hear what you hear and did not hear it. And Father, we recognize right now that you're returning your people to Israel. There are more people living in Jerusalem right now than has ever been in the history of the world. And so Father, we're seeing this with our own eyes. The prophets would love to see what we see and hear what we hear. And so, Father, we pray it in the name of Yeshua. Open our eyes to see what you're doing in the world right now. Right now. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hallelujah. In Yeshua's name, bring light. Bring light to the body of Messiah to see and understand it. 
Yeshua's name, hallelujah. Psalm 102. You will arise and have mercy on Zion for the time to favor her. Yes, the set time has come. For your servants take pleasure in her stones. Show favor to her dust. Oh God, we pray today that you would arise and have mercy on Zion. Let it be a set time, the set time that you favor her. Oh God, arise, we pray today. Arise, have mercy. In Yeshua's name, amen. Hallelujah, the Lord God who gathers the dispersed of Israel declares, yet others I will gather to them, to those already gathered. Lord, you move so powerfully in the church in Jerusalem to shake them up that you were bringing in believers from all nations that there would be one house of prayer for all peoples. And now, Lord, we pray for the believers in the nations that you would open our eyes, oh God, to see that you are regathering the people of Israel from the four corners of the earth back to the land and back to the Father's heart. I pray, oh God, that you would open eyes, not just of my Jewish brothers and sisters, but of your people in the nations to see the hour that we are living in the glory that is coming, that you are turning our gaze to Jerusalem, that the mountain of the Lord's house will be established above all the hills, and all nations will flow unto it, and they will say, come and let us go to the mountain of the Lord and to the house of the God of Jacob. O oh Lord, open our eyes in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Father, we thank you for the unfolding of your will. God, we stand here this morning. We honor you, Jesus, for your leadership, that even as you raised up Harry Truman as a political intercessor for Israel, you are now raising up 100 million intercessors for Israel all over the world. And we stand here this morning in faith. We stand here this morning honoring your leadership, even in the simplicity of a tent in a field, as a sign and a wonder that you will accomplish your will. God, I thank you for all the prophetic poetry around what's happening right now, and we just want to honor you. Let's take 20 seconds right now. Let's thank the Lord together. Can we do that? Lord, we honor your leadership. We thank you for what's happening in this tent and in the nations. We thank you that the seal of the Lord will accomplish this. We thank you for your excellent leadership. We bless your leadership. Yeshua, we bless your leadership. You are a good leader. You are leading the parade of history. Lord, you are going to accomplish your will on the earth as it is in heaven. And Jerusalem will be a praise in all the earth. You will make Jerusalem a praise in all the earth by your zeal. So we bless you this morning. We pray all day today, all night, that you would manifest yourself in this property and in the nations. In Jesus' name.
Amen. Amen and amen. Well, listen, I, I want to just thank you for coming. My name is David Bradshaw with Awaken the Dawn. And just want to thank you all for being here for the first ever prayer meeting for Israel, at this scale at least, on the Truman property. And this is the first time ever that we'll have 24-hour prayer for Israel on Harry Truman's property. And so in a minute, we're going to transition here to the flood session. It starts at 9 right here in the tent. You're welcome to, to stay and be with us. I wanted to let you know uh, behind you are five tents. And we have a global tent. We have three U.S. tents, so an East Coast, Central, and West U.S. tent. And then we have the Israel tent, which is the blue and white tent. The Israel tent is starting now. Uh, and it's going 24 hours all the way through Friday evening. So I want to encourage you, if your heart is burning for this, to come throughout the day and night. We want to make a statement before God. And then the other tents are going to kick off tonight. So we'll have a session here at 7 with the flood. And then after that session, the other tents also are going to go 24 hours. We have worship teams from all over the world coming to stand in this field with us. We're not coming for a conference. We're coming to lift our voices. And so we have um, a global tent. We'll have Brazilian teams, Korean teams, Chinese teams from all over the world standing in this field 24 hours. Three U.S. tents with worship teams and musicians from all over the world. It'll start tonight. And then the Israel tent starts now. So it's all the way back in that field. So I want to encourage you throughout the day, and even all through the night watch, you can come and join us on this property. We're literally going to go 24 hours starting tonight. Come on. We get to do this. And of course, the flood session starts here at 9. We'll have the big sessions every night at 7 p.m. We're actually closing these tents down at that time, and everybody's converging together. And so we want to encourage you to be a part of that. But, um, hey, we get to do this, yeah? Even... I don't know, can, can some Americans handle a little bit of warm temperatures? I don't know, come on. Where's my American people at? Can we handle this? A little bit of warm temperature, it's worth it. And of course, outreach teams are going out all afternoon with the flood. 298, I believe, outreach locations all over Kansas City this week. It's amazing. Okay, bless you guys. If you want to go to the Israel tent, the session with the flood is going to start in a few minutes. Amen. Awesome. Come on, David. That was amazing. What a privilege. My name is Chase. Just to be in the tent for that first prayer set for Israel is beautiful. What a